Okay, my pack saddle was designed so that I could fit a multitude of animals. The arches float, that's really, really important. And the how the flow of the animal's back is. Notice how it's straight here and then curves up in the front. So it actually the bar looks like this. Instead of real curved, it's got it's up in the front. So when you look at this bar, you can see how it's flat here and curves up in the front. Curves up in the front to get away from the scapula. And notice how it comes back down here so it doesn't bang on the kidneys. Very, very important. D-rings are very important. On a mule especially, you want to have them closer together. Wider apart, you're going to be, especially the back stance has to be the tightest. It's going to create a lot of discomfort for the animal. And when you only tighten a front cinch, that then creates problem on the scapula. So uh, I developed the pack saddle with adjustable arches so I can go wider for the bigger mules, narrower for the smaller mules. Now this is what I've learned from this pack saddle. Really, the closer to the spine I am, the better. I developed the saddle thinking I need to fit wide mules and narrow mules. That's not what I need to find out. I need to find out where the most comfortable place was for that mule for it to sit. And that is right on top of the spine. You take these three fingers here. Here's your spine. Here's your, here's your loin muscle on each side. I want my saddle to sit here. Not way out here, sitting on ribs. I want it to sit directly on top of the muscle. My animal's going to be more comfortable. That's why I developed this pack saddle, so that I would figure out what was best, most comfortable for the animal. I have rings for the breast collar. I have rings for the, the latigos to cinch it down. And then the back, I have rings for, the, for the, the breechings. And yes, you need to have a breeching, not a crouper. It's a lot more easier to adjust a breeching. You want to adjust a breeching where there's no adjustment on a crouper. And remember this, a crouper, when you pull it on a tail, you're only pulling on bone. Just last year alone, I had three of my clients call me who said, oh, I've been using croupers all my life. They had to put their animals down because they had broken backs. So there's more to it, folks, than just throwing a saddle on there. Thanks for watching Queen Valley Mule Ranch. Give us a call. We'd like to help you out. My name's Steve Edwards.